Often postpartum depression goes undetected um, in general, but even more so within the black community, where women are actually a little bit more likely to experience a perinatal mood or anxiety disorder, but much less likely for that to be detected in a screening or treated. And some of the reason may be that sometimes it's ta it feels taboo to maybe express that in their family or their community, um, but also that when they do express it, it may be dismissed as a result of implicit bias or um, systemic racism, honestly, that's going on. And so sometimes they may be expressing this, but I need help, but it doesn't feel that it's normal and their legitimate concerns may be dismissed. So it is thought that a general weathering that occurs when you're exposed to toxic stress in the form of racism in the form of microaggressions, witnessing police brutality, worrying about your safety, not feeling included. Those things wear on a person over time. And they do contribute a significant amount of stress during the pregnancy too, that can be a risk factor for developing depression down the line. That is, that's the world we live in, you know, and that's, that is kind of like our cross to bear as black women. Just being more aware of this is a, is a form of advocacy.